We left uh, the hut this morning, approximately 2 a.m., to climb Mount Hicks. They reached the summit and descending when they're coming down what appears to be the west ridge or the southwest ridge at approximately 6 o'clock this morning. They've been engulfed, all three have been engulfed in the avalanche. They've all been buried, but the uh, client, luckily enough, has managed to uh, get sufficiently to the top. She's managed to get out. The other two uh, were uh, trapped under the avalanche. Uh, a beacon, a personal locator beacon, was set off uh, by the client, and uh, the search team were dispatched. Arriving on the scene approximately 7 o'clock, 7.30 this morning, sorry, about an hour and a half after the incident. They located the two um, victims. Uh, they did CPR and worked on it for some time, but unfortunately both passed away. Right. Male, female? <laughs> they're both male and they're both in their 50s. Um, I can't give you at this stage their, um, their names. Both are New Zealand residents, but both um, are overseas um, people, and we've got to notify the next to come before we release the names. Uh, I'm not exactly. I think they might be from Germany, but um, that's um, as much as I know. And you talk about the CPR was performed on them, so they weren't killed. Um, I think they worked on them for some time, as they would do, normally do. Um, I think one of them was probably killed pretty much instantly, and the other one uh, probably perished uh, before the team got there. But um, I think it's not one thing you do is you, until you get a, a suitably qualified person uh, available to declare life extinct, you keep uh, trying. And I hope that you might have that out.